Hello, hello, everybody. Oh, Minerva, a little late there. What's up, Ray? What's up, Crummy? What's up, Teague? Hello, hello. How's it going? Oh, Crummy, you thought the uh, the redeem was 20k? I believe I have it at, was it 35k? Oh no, 20, 25. You're close, you're close. I wonder if we're going to have our stream VIP show up, too. The the lovely Miss Kaya Duskwallow now. Not Kaya Danu anymore. <laughs> Everybody has those days, right, Ray? Sometimes we can give Minerva a break. Happy Wednesday, hump, happy hump day. We made it. We've made it halfway through. Surprise, I'm actually in G-Pose. I bamboozled you. And while we start, people start loading in here, I think I'm going to also just help rearrange a little bit of this stuff. I know we, um, I cleaned out, I cleaned out my several things in my inventory. Okay, it doesn't look like it, but like, I mean, I have this thing completely empty and then I, I freed a bunch of slots in the actual um, storage here. And then I also cleaned out the uh, EK Bana stuff that was behind here before. So now we have the full slots so we can really see what we're working with here. We are currently at a little less than half, 46 slots. And we have our NPC only build that we started working on on Monday, and we will continue to work on today. Which actually reminds me, I'm going to really quickly post this over in one or two other little discords, might as well, or I don't know, it doesn't really matter. I guess why not? Couldn't hurt. Da -da -da. What other places? FB, right? anyone know in FD, does anyone actually like utilize the, the 14 streams channel? Like noticing that there is a 14 streams channel and I'm the only person who's posted in that for like the last, I don't even know how long. Since, since January, I'm the only person who's posted in that. Like, does anybody even look at this channel? Should I just post in community events? I think that's what I did last time. Cause it just seemed like, yeah, nobody actually looks at other stuff. we go yeah oh yeah you finished you figured uh, missed the first stream on Monday crummy well no worries we're just continuing with it right now and basically what we did was this I mean what you see is what you get WYSIWYG if anybody knows that term um, which is often used in like design design uh, software 
like Photoshop or Illustrator or, or something like that. Even other um, design things where WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get. Um, little, little fun facts there for you. But yeah, um, for anybody who was not here on Monday, I'm building using only the vendor NPC items, which technically could include things like the gold saucer stuff or um, the stuff in Mordona and some other vendors. But basically, I'm trying to do as much as possible. I'm building using only the stuff that you can basically buy at this Hakonin, uh, which is the same thing as a Stuart, the housing NPC. Uh, so yeah, so all of this right now is built just using stuff that you could buy at the vendor. And I'm trying to make uh, something cool out of that. So this is what we have so far. It's kind of shaped up into what's basically like this sort of adventurer, like adventurer's guild shop front. So I think where we left off last time, we were saying that um, originally it was going to be sort of like a metalwork workshop, maybe. But then I think we kind of have just the way the build wanted to lean itself. It started to become more and more something like this. And um, yeah, and so I think we're going to try to just lean into that and just see how far we can push something like that. Uh, and I think, again, the name of the game here is we just want to see how far we could, uh, what we can make. Something interesting, hopefully, out of all the NPC vendor items and really showcase just how much you can do with those, uh, despite the fact that it seems initially kind of limiting, but I think there's actually quite a lot that you can do with those items if you just think a little bit outside the box. So uh, that's what we're doing today. We're thinking outside the box and we're going to try to make it happen. What's up, Sunny? Welcome back to the stream. Welcome back, Don't Ping Me. Uh, Aramor, hello, hello. There she is, Kaya the Cat, our stream, our current only stream VIP at the moment. Um, Look at that fat diamond right there next to her name. Hot damn. The flex. VIP. Let's see here. Okay, so what do we want to do here? So what's what's our order of operations today? So I think what we need to do is now that now that I've taken away the stuff in the back here, I'm going to push a couple of these things out a little bit because it's a little bit cramped right now. And I think we can, especially like here, this shop front is really cramped. So in order to even fit anything in here, I think we're going to push this back a little bit, you know, like a couple clicks, which means we might need a few more bookshelves. So, you know, something closer to that, right, where we at least have um, a little bit more breathing room for our NPC. So right th right, right there, I see that we want to make the angles. So, um, what was it? What was it? Riviera, this is bookshelves. Riviera bookshelves. And I know that something we figured out on Monday was that you can use these to make a lovely little curve in the bookshelves by doing this. Right, I'm gonna perfect, I'll, I'll uh, adjust this later, but basically you take it like this and you go like that. Same thing here. And you go like that. Boom. And then when you come in here and you look at it, you get this lovely little curve in the metalwork, as opposed to just the, all the really harsh corners that it could be. And we thought that that was, or I thought that was a really nice look. So I'm going to keep running with that theme. How's everybody doing though? How's, how's everybody's Wednesday going? How's your week been so far? What y'all been up to? Tell me your tale. See, so we're gonna finish the windows all around here. Because we're gonna create this sort of open atrium up top here. We need to add lighting. So we need lighting, we need to finish the windows. We need to add all of the what is in these shops from like a 
structural standpoint and then also a clutter standpoint stuff on the counters stuff on tabletops and that kind of thing uh and then i think that i mean we don't want to do too much i think that's a big thing in an apartment is you need to kind of come up with like a singular idea and then just like lean really really heavily into that one idea so we're going to keep keep with that um and try not to break too far from that so uh let's go with yeah, let's let's not deviate. Let's see. Okay, I know that I talked about wanting to uh, sort of adjust some of these to get them a little bit cleaner. Let's see here. What else did we talk about? Um, 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 uh... Oh yeah. So we need to fix this doorway. Yeah, we need to make this actually look like a doorway, ideally. And I think... We can use a custom door there. We need one more of the verdant, verdant partitions here, I think. Um, do we have one in the inventory? I think we do, probably. We should... Could have sworn I had an extra one of these things. <clears throat> bum, 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 there it is. Okay. So what we need is we want to have this. To complete out the the greenery going all the way around right oh and um we're gonna need to place this from storage because otherwise we'll not be able to get close enough to the wall let's do this store place some storage da, 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 da. oh gonna get a little messy looking we're gonna get it. We're gonna get this. Is that is that getting close to the center? I think that's pretty close. I think we can get it even closer. Oh, it's not quite center, but honestly, that's probably okay. It's gonna be hidden. So there we go. And now that's at least covered behind these. Or it might be, we might have, we might, might be a little bit of an issue still. Might need to move these walls a little bit farther forward in order to make that happen. Same with these, we might need to, we want to nudge these out a bit more. Because there's a lot of space here that's been unused. Let me catch up here with chat. Uh, what's up, Maple? Welcome back to the stream. Work is very stressful. Excited for Wednesday party day. Hell yeah, Aramore. So tonight we do have a prominence opening. So that's going to be awesome. Um, Did I update? I'm not sure if I updated the... Did I update the flyer? Let me quickly check this. Did I... Uh, ba, 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 ba. Is this? Yeah, it is. There we go. Tonight we have Prominence. Prominence Nightclub. I'll be DJing 8 to 10 p.m. PST. So, in case anybody was wondering, even though... Even though it feels like we just had Prominence because we had those special openings last weekend. We have yet another opening tonight, Wednesday. Ah. Crummy saying, you, hmm, you just realized why my voice is calming besides the obvious. Uh, I sound very close to another streamer that I follow for gaming and watched a long time ago. I see. 
do you do you know what the name of the streamer is? I'm kind of curious. But I guess that's that's a good thing. Um, so kind of like it feels a little bit like familiar, I guess, right? In a, in a nostalgia kind of way, like oh yeah, like I know how this voice goes. Maybe it was me. Maybe I'm that streamer, and I've just re-debuted myself as this new person. Joke's on you. I've been here all along. Ah, 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 ah. So wait, I think are these not even. I think they weren't even before. Yeah, now they're even. These bookshelves. Um, okay. So I might need I might need to do some really fast shuffling around of stuff. Let's okay. So let's let's take out these windows. Even though they look very pretty and stuff, uh, I think we're gonna have to replace them just because it's gonna be a bit of a nightmare to move all of these bookshelves around. Um, while maintaining all the windows and everything. So I think it's easiest if these verdant, these verdant partitions are very hard to click through is the problem, right? See, I, I can't click the bookshelves without these getting in the way. So I'm going to take these out. Whoa. And it looks like all the windows are going to stay put. That's actually kind of convenient. Well, I'll take it. <laughs> and then this lets me move these bookshelves around. Uh, so let's set ourselves up proper here. Wait, let's just try this again really quick. Um, storeroom. I just want to see if I can get that even closer. Okay. Ah, dang door. Oh, that's pretty close, dead, dead on center. Beautiful. And it's a little farther back. See, now you don't see the little bit that was sticking out here before? Perfect. I just needed that as far to the wall as possible. Okay. So now I just want to make sure that these are all even. So this bookshelf is dead center as well, I think. Let's make sure about that. Yes, that's dead center. So we'll let that inform the rest of these shelves. So they'll all be based off of this one. Da, da, da. Kind of curious to see if we can make little the little doorways that I talked about last time. So um, the little doorways, like I've mentioned before that I often like to try and make things feel as realistic as possible. And so some, and that means I like to put little fake doorways in places where it feels like it explains how NPCs get behind their shops because otherwise they kind of have to jump over the, the band, like over the top of the counters, which doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. So, um, we, I might, uh, I'm trying to think how we could make a little door or something. The one, the one over here is kind of obvious because there's a shop, a counter here. And then there's like a space here. So we could just move these out and have it be like this. Right. And then you could have the doorway right here in the middle that they'd walk through. And then we can make, let's see, how would we do this? Partitions. Da, 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 um, cabinets. I think. What was it? Tables, food cabinets, shelves. Did you showcases? We did it last another time though. I think. So let's see if we can do something different. Let's test this. Right. So we can go preview. Oh, preview indoor furnishings. If we go and look at our indoor furnishings, again, only using NPC vendor items. 
what can we use? Well, that's cool. We could make like a cowboy kind of door. <laughs> that's um, not for this build maybe, but like, there you go. There's a swinging, there would be a swinging cowboy door, right? Or the saloon door. Uh, I don't know how you do the other side though. I guess you'd have to do like this. I can see someone making a cool saloon swinging door though that way. Um, oh, no, 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 no. What's looking for the one that has a shop selling price. That way we know it's NPC only. Here we go, like this, right? So like, oh, there, actually, that's great. So something like this, right, could work. And we could keep the metalwork consistent. So something like that. And then we have like, you know, uh, effectively it can make a doorway of some sort. Where people walk through. You sound like a dude you used to play Riding Rock online with. I guess it sound like a lot of people, huh? Yeah, so to age how long I've been watching. It's one of the first post Minecraft videos to YouTube. Wow. David Angel 64 also known as X. Interesting. Never heard of that person, but you will have to go look them up, see what they what they're about if they do our voice justice. And it doesn't quite fit. Let's see. Oasis cupboard. Interesting. We got anybody building out there? Anybody uh doing building alongside with me? Ooh, that's kind of cool. I like how the little lines here, right, actually line up really perfectly right below the metalwork. Like they actually, it actually mirrors it quite well. Although it's a little weird because it's a little bit of a departure from the rest of this stuff. I wonder if we lined the rest of these walls though with these cabinets, if that could be interesting. To break up the, the standard Texture that you're used to seeing here with these. Like if we had it in the center there, you know, create these um, pillars. It's kind of a cool idea. And then we'd have, we could just nudge some of these things over. That's actually pretty cool. I kind of like that. Um, so, right, like what I'm thinking is we have, I, I don't, I think some in these corners, it's kind of okay to have some of the books maybe exposed, but I kind of don't like these books that are clearly flipped backwards to be showing. So it'd be kind of nice if we maybe just nudged all of these over a little bit. And then we used that Oasis one. And we plugged it right in there, and it can cover both of the hole, both of the book cubby holes, and we just get these really interesting looking pillar designs that can sort of be a bit of a focal point there. I kind of like that, adding a bit more character to this overall build. Uh, let's try that. Let's try. Um, let's try taking. Partitions, where would they be? Where would they be? Uh, shelves, I'm guessing? Oasis cupboards, right? Let's get two and see, because we might need to make, I'll make, I'll get three, why not? Let's make a pattern with these. You're built out right now, Maple. Did a couple of exteriors over the last two days and about to jump into a project with a friend of mine. My brain just needs a break. So you're spearfishing. Oh, fun, okay. Yeah, I think that's good. It's good to take a break. You can't, I think it's important. Take breaks, people, you know? I say to, uh, and also I need to remind myself quite often to, uh, to do that as well. Huh? Wait, how is that? Oh, one of them is a little bit farther forward.
Okay, so yes, like what if we had like this? Okay, and we talked about how the wood on the back of these, these bookshelves is not that great. It's kind of gross looking to be honest. So what if we covered it up using some things here so we only have the, the metal part? So I'm like seeing what would that look like, right? What if we had only the metal work? Hmm, not sure if that's the winner either. I wonder, because there's because these are much thinner, I wonder if slanted skylights could work for us? Slanted, uh, slanted, there we go. Right, so these are pretty thin. I wonder if these could come to the rescue. Flipped backwards though, and then we can push them in. How do those look next to those? Yeah, see, there we go. That's kind of interesting. <laughs> um, can dye those as well and make them like, let's just say brown or something. Yeah, like this maybe. And then we could have our little metalwork running around. Push that back to make sure the metal work shows. Hmm. Uh, Relucent. Uh, did I say that correctly? Relucent. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Also, I guess I saw we had a couple of people follow while I was not streaming so uh monster girl monster girl monster girl uh the aline the the is it thele thelind or the elind um an abinol a, a, a bean a bean no all ab a bean all all three of you, I'm. I apologize. I'm. Uh, I'm not sure if I got your names correct, but if you happen to be here, thank you all for the follows. Oh, and Ellen, thank you for subscribing with the with the prime sub. Hey, just Ellen. Is it Ellen or Ellen? But hey, but in any case, um, thank you so much. For the prime sub i really appreciate it ellen like uh, ellen generous right <laughs> um hopefully you like ellen i don't know i not to compare you with her necessarily but <laughs> uh just just i always like to try to get people's pronunciations correct as much as i'm able to but anyway thank you for for coming to the stream happy to have you how did you find how did you find my stream because it's um i saw you subs uh, you followed while i was offline also teague is saying i'm pu just putting the finishing touches on my f serum i'll post a photo in the discord in a few beautiful yeah uh please do share teague we'd love to see crummy's also working on fc room yeah, a lot of FC rooms. Awesome. I mean, that's pretty much what I'm working on right now, right? This apartment. Very cool. Very cool, everybody. Oh, this is going to be kind of tricky to, to get accurate, I think. Uh-oh. It's going to be a nightmare to move all these two. But 
But I do really like um, when you get a little bit more interesting layering and stuff in the walls, you know? I think it adds a lot of character that is sometimes kind of missing from, from some walls. I don't know. I'm not really... The little bit sticking out at the top here, it's kind of not doing it for me. Uh, I, I'm leaning towards going back with our original idea of just using stage panels, maybe. Just to make a really clean looking thing here, right? Da, 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 da. I don't know, what, what would be... Or could there be like glade walls? I don't know. Um, what other partitions do we have? So yeah. Also love your videos. Oh, okay. So did you find my YouTube channel? Is that what you're saying, Ellen? Is that what you mean by videos or like the, the stream VODs and stuff? And then maybe my the tutorial ones like housing 101 and 201 or something like that. Oh, that's kind of interesting. What if we have like this? Oh, I think I looked at this before the marble. And then having, it would have the marble trim along the bottom. And you could have, let's see, the difference in texture. This has different texture than this. I don't know. With the metal work though, it feels like it needs something, maybe it does need something just steely looking. Maybe that's the problem. Furnishing colors, this should be steel, like gray. Right, like if it's, if it's like this. Then it's like a really clean looking gray or something. Black. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Da, da, da. What was I looking to? I was thinking uh, potentially one of these these partitions, right? Like this. How do these partitions look? Let's use the other side. Since it doesn't have all the other crap in front of it. Oh, that's kind of cool. I wish that the metal matched a bit better with the... Um, the little bottom part there. But that's not bad. I guess that's... Doesn't quite make sense, though, is the problem. I'm trying to make the metal make sense, is the thing. You know, do you guys know what I'm saying, right? Like, oh, maybe the Riviera one. That could be good. I don't like the top of the Riviera thing, of the partition, but the bottom is fine. It's got metal work in it, too. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think this might be our winner. Like that, trimmed all the way around the edges. Hmm. Okay, I'm curious what that looks like if you actually trim that all the way around. Trick book shells. Da -da 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 -da. Cause I don't think Hingen's really. We might as well take a look. Maple, I'm curious. So spear fishing, I know you, you just said you're doing spear fishing now instead of housing taking a break. So like is I know they did a rework of spear fishing recently. So is it like really interesting now? Is it is it like a pretty fun mini game? I've actually never done the spear fishing despite I mean, I've unlocked it, but I've never actually done the actual fishing part. Is it interesting and, and worth taking a look at?
Sure. What? This is this is stumping me. I feel like these walls. I, I we could just go with the bookshelves as they are and then just cover up the front. Because admittedly, um, we could just use. Once we actually put stuff in front of them, maybe it, it won't matter that th this, this wood texture is a little bit weird. I think we might need to- might go that route. Or we just say forget it. It's not gonna... Doing all this super complex layering might be too much. I think we might go that route instead. Yeah, let's, let's just go with that. Let's not overcomplicate this. I think that's maybe a mistake is is just getting trying to get too too fancy. This thing though might be able to work. Just this doorway. It's pretty narrow. There we go, that's a little bit more reasonable that someone could squeeze through there. Okay. And then we would need like a showcase or something maybe to represent the door. Yeah, like this, right? Easy. We could put a, put a little uh, table chronometer here to get the door doorknob. And that way, once we put this back, eventually, right, then the our little NPC guy has like a way to get in and out of the back there. And we could actually repeat this pattern on a bunch of these places, so that way each of them all has like an area that they can walk in and out of. Um, let's, let's see that. Let's see what would happen if we did this. This might be tricky though. to get this. Because I don't think we can squeeze this into the wall. Store. Let's, uh, blah, 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 where is it? Um, maple, I think it's it's pretty fun. So, so right now I'm farming some Aether Sand, so there's a specific size slash speed fish that I need to try to get. I'll link a video in general. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, Maple, you have been tearing it up with Housen. You have been really churning out a lot of stuff. So I'm not surprised that you need a break. It's very important. Don't burn yourself out completely. Okay, I think... Hmm... Actually, that's another way to do it, too. Just have the doors all leading from this area. What if... Yeah, what if they were all there? What if all of the doors were like that? Oh, wait. Uh, is it like that? Move this for a second. Let's just see what happens if we try running with this. Oh, that's an interesting. Uh, by accident, there, uh, having this come in the other way is kind of cool with the little shelves down at the bottom. 
But I think that's gonna, again, it's gonna overcomplicate stuff. How can I do this? Oh, um, by taking this. So what I'm trying to get is this nice little angle, right? Where this swoops in and goes down like a uh, 45, bam, and then it goes into the doorway. So I'm trying to get that to look natural where you don't see the little diamond pattern. So what if we take this and invert it the opposite direction, right? Because if we put now two of these together, we'll get a perfect square off here. So now if we square this off like that, now we have our little metalwork that curves again. And now we can put this like that. Uh, you see the little bit of the corner there. Um, we might be able to cover that up using the pillar or something like that, right? Some kind of a something that will block it. Remember there was this idea of putting the wooden pillar here or something, the new, the new log pillar that we have, we were just given. Cause this, so now taking this, take the shelf, grab another one of these. And we can do, mirror that on this side, right? So, um, So just to get that other doorway, we go like this again. Okay. Yeah, see there we have another doorway. Uh, another showcase I think we need. Where are the showcases? We definitely need at least one more bookshelf and a showcase. So let's take bookshelf. Uh, let's grab this out of the way first. Ah, let me grab it. Come on, let me grab this thing. There it is. Okay, let's grab this, put this here. Okay. Give this our little right angle. Then we can plug this right in here. Hopefully. Da, 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 da. Again, kind of a tight fit, but that's okay. Because once we plug this in here, it doesn't really matter. No one's actually going to walk through here. It's just the NPCs. But then we have, there we go, our second doorway. We, and we can we can definitely push these back uh, a little bit more just to give that a little extra space there we go it's a bit more of a reasonable door and even these I mean honestly could get pushed Give a bit bigger doorways. Boom. There we go. So we could always, we could just presume that all the NPCs walk back into the back area using all these different doorways. So we can mirror this on the other side. Let's see. Okay. Da da da. Yeah, we need one more on this side as well, because we're going to plop this like this, basically. And then there, yeah, you can see how that doorway will be really, yeah, that'll be great. Then then they can walk in and out of their, uh, their shop front here. Let's see. So no, when are you gonna get the happy little accident emote? It's a good point. Um, 
yeah, I don't know. Like a little Bob Ross, a little Bob Ross emote. What is that? What should we, like just the initials? Happy little accident. HLA. Those, those who know will know. <laughs> just a happy little accident. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Ah, there we go. There's our little curve. Man, three different bookshelves here just to get this little curve and then the little angle to, to jut in there. I guess we don't technically need this one, maybe, right? We don't maybe need this, this bookshelf. This is a little bit extra. Because if we just sh nudge this one outward... Um, like that. Oh, uh, a little farther. Like that. Uh, see, I, I don't like, though, that this, this thing was nice and it covered up a bit more. Oh, no. I guess you do see the trim there. Should be like this, maybe. Just... Just in front. So you can just see the little lip. I don't like the diamonds showing, if possible. If there's, is there a better, more efficient way to do that? Uh, like that. Mm. Can push these back. Come on, let me grab that bookshelf. There it is, right there. that. I don't think that looks... Oh, man. It looks unnatural. Maybe I'm overcomplicating it. Perhaps we just use three showcases and we just have the angle be like that. <laughs> you know? Uh, and just make it different colors. If you just use this, then one this way, then one this way, that would create the same effect. Something similar to that. Clean, too, right? Um, okay, let's just run with this, though. Let's just try it. Can always clean something up later if we need to. Okay, so how do we do this? We inverted a bookshelf here, right? Are these even? Just to make sure these these bookshelves here are all even evenly spaced. Okay, yes they are. Take this one, invert it this way, put it right there. Similar to this one. That's not grid snap for some reason. This one. Where's the where's the bookshelf? There it is. Now it's good snapped. Perfect. Okay. Let's grab ourselves another showcase.
Also, I saw the um, the 14 Twitter was tweeting about the Island Sanctuary. Are you guys excited for Island Sanctuary? I'm I'm so curious what they're gonna do with it. Does anybody? Um, we haven't really gotten much info about it, right? I think so far. Did anyone else see that tweet? I saw that they started tweeting about it, and they're like, I think trying to hype people up a little bit for it. Yeah, I'll plug these these Oasis shelves in a little later. I think they're kind of getting in the way right now of me laying this thing out properly. Oh yeah, a scene like that actually does kind of clean it up. Um, can I just match these colors? Right? Like if I just dye... Then again, that, that is kind of nice like this. Use the natural... And use the natural metal here, actually. That gives us a nice little break for the door. Yeah, I think that's the way we go. There it is. Take this, mirror it on the other side. Like that. And now we have a little metal uh, doorway that matches very cleanly. Let's go with that. That's just It's just cleaner that way. I'm going to put the rounded corners in in a moment. Let's build out the doorways first. So there's that doorway. Let's remove these. I much, much prefer that metal consistency. Here we go. Right? Keep making the angles. There we go. There's our doorway. Ah, that's much better. That's much more consistent. Okay. We need just more of the bookshelves then. Wasn't it Dominions and or farming? Yeah, I think like the idea is it might be like Farmville or something. Is that right? Um. I know they haven't really shown us much, but then they showed there's that one crazy image where it's like the the whole island and they show like an a row actual size and it's like a little speck on the beach. So I think like a lot of people imagine or I don't know. I was imagining when they talked about Island Sanctuary, I thought that it was going to be kind of like Animal Crossing where like your island is pretty small. You know what I mean? Like it's enough where you can build out a little mini town, but it wasn't like a fucking humongous island. But actually, based off of the little initial things that they've shown for Island Sanctuary, the island looks humongous. The island looks like actually gigantic, like a whole zone, like a whole zone or something, or even bigger than a zone, I want to say. Because like that little speck that they, they showed with the row, like it's humongous. It looks absolutely gigantic. I think these doors are too... Are they too narrow? I think it should be one more out. Here we go. Right? Yeah. Is that consistent? Two blocks and then basically four blocks wide. So it's basically four blocks wide. This is actually, if it was like one more, I think. If 
it was technically like that, I think then they'd be even sized. Okay, I guess we could swing that. We don't need a curve on this, this corner then. Just connect this up. Yeah, let's keep it simple. There's no need to overcomplicate it if they don't need to. Four blocks wide. One, two, okay, so. Uh, there we go, four blocks wide. Okay. I'm um, hoping for Harvest Moon Final Fantasy Edition. Yo, what's up, Mia? Welcome back to the stream. Yeah, um, I've never played Harvest Moon, but like, that's true. I think like Stardew Valley or Harvest Moon, right, is also um, maybe a good comparison. Oh, and now we're doing this. We could save some, a slot by just doing this. And then just lining this up. Right? Ooh. Let's get that a little bit closer to... There we go, okay. Same thing here, let's save a slot. Beautiful. Okay. Let's clean, I'm gonna clean this up. Come on, give me the stage panel. There we go. Let's just do all of this to... What? This shouldn't be able to grid snap any farther. I thought... Something's off. Because... Why can this grid snap... Right, see, this this can't grid, grid snap any farther. Oh, it's because it's hitting the pillar? That's why it's hitting, it's cause it's hitting the pillar. That's why, okay. The pillar is sticking out a little bit, I see. This one, yeah, that will have an, an issue. that almost creates little like cubbies or something right like little cutouts as if there's extra things going on there all right we're gonna run with that it's kind of nice should it be single singular singular little cubby cutouts it was like like that ah let's use Take up more space. Boom. Boom. Like that. Move this out of the way. Oh, there's another one here. There we go. Okay. Beautiful. I think we can get this little rounded corner to play a little nicer. Let's store this in our storeroom. And... Oof. Yeah, if we go a little closer to the wall. Let's 
basically close to oh no no a little too too far Ugh. Everyone see what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to get this curve to line up so it connects these two up nicely. Close. So close. There we go. That's basically it right there. There it is. There's our nice little curve. Okay, we can do the same thing on the other side. And, um... Ideally, even block this out. It's a really weird, tight book cubby right there. Oh, this wasn't even grid snapped. I just realized. So actually that would have been easier to, to deal with. We just snap this forward. <sighs> hmm. No looking, um, let's see, hope it, uh, hoping for more, for more info on it the next live letter because I'm very intrigued. Yeah, me too. It looks like Australia style. Like Australia style? Yeah, like just like a humongous open outback kind of space. Do whatever you want with it. Like I wonder too how much we can terraform the island itself. Like, is it just, is it just basically like a gatherer's, fisher's paradise with a little house that you can build on the beach, you know? Or can we actually like, go to, absolutely go to town and like build little cities a bunch like all over the island and create little warp points? Cause that'd be really crazy and very interesting. And then like, did they mention like, it's a private island sanctuary, so everybody has their own island. So like, I can't share it with probably with someone else, but I mean, given that we're in an MMO, we must be able to visit each other's islands, similar to Animal Crossing, right? Like, that'd be really weird if you literally couldn't visit each other's island or something. Oh, cool, and you posted uh, your FC room in the in the Discord, T. Awesome, awesome, we'll take a look at that later. Let's see here. Ye Stardew Works, Stardew Works. No need to overcomplicate it, you don't need to. Uh, ping, yeah. You know, I need to overcomplicate it if you don't need to. Man, I need that advice. A lot of times I think I'll, I think a lot of stuff sounds neat and I'm in the hole. I need to scrap my idea for FC House because I got overambitious. Yeah, that's that's very true. You know, like I think it's, it's so easy to try to overcomplicate things. And like, I mean, I am so guilty of this so often, right? Where you um, you get really fixated on some some specific idea that you have for something. And it becomes really easy to just tunnel yourself away and, and make that thing really overly complicated. Oh, there, perfect. There, that's nice and clean looking. Although I don't like that little bit hang showing, but uh, it's not the end of the world if it does. We might be able to put put something here, like a pillar or something, to help fi uh, smooth out. I don't I don't like this detail, but we can fix that. Um, but yeah, no, I mean I think like it's important. Uh, I know they talk about this. This is a this is a business term, and I know this is in business class. But like the MVP, the minimum viable product for something, 
And I do feel like that that is very important when it comes to housing builds too, where you have to like sometimes decide, okay, like it'd be really cool if this house had like a club and a bar and a and a spa room and a, you know, like all these things. But like sometimes you really do need to take a step back and say, okay, like, well, what is the actual main thing I need in here, right? Like I really want this to be a nightclub. Okay. Maybe it's better if I make if I build sort of my minimum viable product for this build around what is the minimum viable product for a nightclub specifically. Like, okay, it probably needs a bar, it needs a dance floor, it needs a DJ stand, it needs, you know, like a, a backdrop for the DJ. Okay, and everything else kind of comes after that. Like if we have time, if we have extra item slots, or if we have extra budget, then we can think about the other stuff. But like, I think it's so easy to just get, especially like in apartments or FC rooms where you have so limited item slots, it's so easy to just way crazily overcomplicate stuff. And then you're like deep in the hole and you're like 75 item slots in, you know, and you're like, oh shit, I don't actually have any slots left to build the actual, like a bunch of the stuff that I wanted. So then everything gets half-assed or you have to tear it down. Um, so I think, yeah, again, I, I mean, I don't, I generally don't like to mix the business stuff too heavily into this. But, but that I do think that the MVP idea, the minimum viable product thing is a very useful idea to think about because it's, um, I know even just like for stream stuff too, like for myself, like as I'm thinking of ideas for what to do for the stream topics or um, stream assets or over, new overlays and stuff, a lot of times I do end up overcomplicating stuff um, and making it like just way crazier than it needs to be. Uh-oh. This is not even. I can see for a fact that this is... I feel like I need to grid snap this thing. Um, and then build... Ah, frickin'. Yeah. Yo, what's up, Akarin and Scarlet? Welcome both back to the stream. Hi, hi, hi. I feel the overthinking. I think we all do. I mean, I, it's kind of like a create. I mean, a creative mindset is very much ideas, 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 firing, right? You know? So, um, yeah, I think needing to, to, like, it's wonderful to have this, this, fount of ideas surplus of ideas and stuff but you got to also balance that out with um not not decision fatiguing yourself too crazily and also not uh oh another another good term that i've that i've heard before is scope creep right you need to be careful about scope creep which is that like you keep adding things that you want to add to a build or like a project and it just keeps getting crazier and crazier and crazier right and then eventually this project is completely out of hand right it's just like this absolute monster with all of these extra bells and whistles and shit that you're like trying to add in and make make it happen you know and um it's it just it has the potential to get out of hand quickly so you need to be aware of it to make sure that you don't fall trapped to it um and it you know if it gets to the point, right, where, like, it's so bad that um, the scope of your project just gets, uh, like, it makes you go way over budget, way over time, or just you never finish it, right? Like, you're constantly just, like, trying to fiddle and add all these things. Consider if you're uh, scope creeping yourself too crazily, right? Or if, they're, like, you're just not really thinking about that, reining that in. Yeah. Um, you can visit friends islands but not strangers I believe they confirm we can visit friends or invite people okay yeah so it is like I mean it's a private island so it's very much you have to invite people as opposed to the housing wards where you can just walk around 
Let's see, Ping says, I made a milk bar for my friends of C and told them I'd use the second floor as a random bathhouse. But here I am with 20 slots left. Yeah. Well, so in the case of like, if it's a friend's FC, then you might cons like you could consider the idea of um, making an alt, right? And then just saying like, okay, I'll build you like whatever you asked for in the main room. And then you also wanted, let's just say a spa or something like that, right? Like, okay, I can build it in an FC room for you. And then that way you can get both of those designs in. That's That's the beauty of an FC house is that you can interconnect different rooms and like create the bigger vision. Yo, and welcome back werewolf. You're live. Glad glad that you're alive. Oh, um, I did that when I painted something years ago, added and added before I realized it was too late. Yeah, yeah, crummy, right? So like keep in keep in perspective, right? Like what what is that MVP, right? I think actually, I mean, those those two ideas like really go hand in hand together. I think this idea of if you clearly establish what's the actual minimum product viable product, um, then that helps you to stay away from scope creeping yourself, right? Because then you 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 can remind yourself, oh right, this thing is first and foremost a nightclub, right? Like it doesn't a bathhouse aspect to it would be cool, but it's not necessary, and so adding uh you know absolutely bending over backwards to try to add that in is is not really part of what this build is supposed to be about so let's not do that beautiful oh, there we go okay now we have the nice curve curvatures why does that look different like how is that oh i see what's going on this is one grid snap too far this way Boop. there you go Okay, now we have our entryway. Okay, everything is proportioned out properly now. We have our three doorways. Beautiful. Ah, it's a good feeling. Um, okay, so now I think we can start plopping in more of our stuff. Okay. Da, 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 da. Also, Akarian, um, so I know actually we're speaking about building nightclubs. Akarian, uh, how how is your nightclub coming along? I know that you you had several commissions you were working on. Uh, one of which though was a nightclub, and you were we talked about it a little bit in voice um, the other night, and I know you were kind of stuck on that. How is that coming along? Attention to detail, love it and hate it. Yeah, crummy. Tell me about it. Oh man, um, it's like the greatest thing and the Achilles heel at the same time, right? Like it's um, being detail oriented and, and and that kind of thing. It can absolutely just kill your productivity, but it also can be your greatest strength. That is like why um, you know you see those little details that a lot of people will miss. And um, that can make you very marketable, like hireable even, right? Um, like it can be why people ask for you to be on the project. Let's see if we push this out. Kind of like don't want, let's see, ba, 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 ba. Uh oh. Oh, uh oh. Because we open this up, we can actually see these now. That's not good. Uh, the bar counter here. Um, yeah, not a big fan of that. Oh no. Did I write myself into a hole here? Because, like, is there any reason this can't extend? Okay, is there any reason? Up, 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 up. Like, how far would back would need to go? Like, there? 
Okay, actually, I don't see any reason why that can't be like that. Could even push this doorway farther back. Because there is room back here. To still give room for this, uh, the, the person standing behind this counter. Okay, I think we might go with that. Yeah, why not? Um, werewolf. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. I see why you're saying you're alive. So you're not on your phone this time, werewolf, right? Because your, your cooling pump died for your PC. So the pump came in, got it fixed, and now you're actually back here on your computer. So that means you can come and hang out with us at Prominence tonight, right? Um, and... Um, Akarin says, it's done. I just have to wait for the client to give it a green light. Oh, shit. Okay, so you finished it. Well, I'm really curious to see what you built with it, Akarin. Do you mind sharing potentially in the showcase? Or, I mean, if you if you can't show publicly yet, you are you could always DM me or something like that. But I'm really curious how that ended up turning out because um, I know, yeah, we talked a bunch about that. Um, and I would just, yeah, I'm really curious how you ended up working that out. I'm going to nudge this this bookshelf over a little bit because I can see this this texture glitching right here and that's going to bug the crap out of me. So I can really quickly fix that. We don't need to deal with that. Oh, there it is. One click in. Just like one. That's all we need. And I think actually, oh, I'm going to push it one click in, not one click out because then the little pixel Hold on, I'm holding my breath for this. Because uh, then the seam will be on this side, which is in tier, uh, on the inside of the shop wall. So this way, you won't see the seam. But if you go this way, you'd see the seam, right? So, um, perspective. Everyone's forced perspective is looking into the shop this way. So, um, we can use that to our advantage. Use forced perspective to your advantage. Hide seams like that, right? See what I'm saying here, right? Like um, the seam that's right here, generated right here. Because I'm offsetting this by a single pixel, you could probably see a seam. But if there's gonna be a little thing here, it might as well be from the perspective of the inside of the shop keeps area. Because then the, it, uh, yeah. Because otherwise you could see it from this, if, yeah, see if you see it this way, it doesn't look as nice. So let's go. Ah. There we go. Oh, what that shift? Come on. I don't like how the camera shifts sometimes like that. It floats away from you. That's frustrating. Oh, well, whatever. There it is. Okay. Um, Okay, so we might need to push this forward. Because this open bookshelf area. No, we can just flip some stuff backwards and fix this. Hmm. Yeah, we can fix that. Okay. Um. I'll DM you later, or you could post it on your Discord server, if that's okay. Yeah, you could post it in the Discord, uh, Akarin. If you want to post it in just the uh, sh showcase, you can you can do that, if you don't mind sharing it with everybody. Um, but if you would prefer to... Uh, um, yeah, if you, if you don't want to share it with everybody, or, or if you're not allowed to, or whatever, like it's if it needs to be a grand reveal or something, then um, you can DM or something. And you're not, oh, don't say that, Scarlet. No, I mean, uh, that's that's the, the cool thing about creativity is everybody does it differently. So um, there's nothing wrong with uh, just, yeah, don't, no need to, uh, it's not a competition, you know, here. So please, we'd love to see what you're, what you're making. 
if you'd love to, if you want to share, if anybody wants to share one of the recent builds in the Discord, you are more than welcome to do so. Uh, again, here's my Discord. In case anybody listening in is not aware, there's my Discord server. We talk about housing as well as my DJ sets and music and upcoming events. So it's a great place to connect with everybody here from the stream. So if you're not in there already, what are you even doing? Get your ass down in there and come join and hang out with us. And and yeah, uh, Akarin, like the um, the surprisingly these the verdant uh, partitions here, the verdant counter partitions are actually NPC vendor items, which is pretty cool because um, they're really they're really amazing. They're really quite useful, very versatile items. So like this, there we go. Oh, that see now that everything's snapping back into place, we can see all this coming to life a bit more. Okay, so now we just need to complete our windows all the way around the edges, right? Oh, we need to snap these back too. These need to snap backwards over here. Um, let's put in some bookshelves. Okay. How many more cracked windows do we need? Uh, at least like one, two, maybe three here. Definitely two. One, two, and then three. What is it? Four? Three? Three across. Okay. Hakonan. Where are the windows? Wall decorations. Cracked arch windows. One, two, three, four, five at least. I think. Let's see how many we need on the edges. These will be need to be stored. Because we need to place from storage because otherwise we can't get them low enough on here. So where are they? Uh, let's do a search. Cracked. Boom, okay. Um, so we need, um, yeah, see the purple. Uh, uh, higher, higher, come on. There we go. Do, do. We might need an extra set on the edge here. Yeah. Although we might be able to just use a pillar there again to block that out. Let's see here. Okay, it's this high? Is that dead center? Where did they go? Did it snap to the wall? Uh oh. Yeah, it's snapping to the wall. Right? Okay, these windows are gonna have to sn uh, be reversed. So... Where did that one just go? What I mean by this is we'll go like this. Flip this around. Oh, why did that not go? It's because I keep hitting the button, that's why. There we go. Okay, so now we take this. Let's put our windows here. Okay. Oh man, this camera's kind of unruly right now. Is that the right height? Yeah, it is. Okay. So it's this height. How did I have it over here on the other side? The four little lines in the middle? Yeah, it's about accurate. Oh, I think it's like that. One over. Right? Yeah. There we go, because you get that same repeating pattern all the way around. Okay, so because these will naturally snap backwards to the wall, if we flip this whole thing around and then place them, 
we can get around this. So let's um Oh, uh, where are they? Are they are they up against the wall? Uh That's too far. There like that. Okay. So then let's return something from that's placed to our inventory. That way it will disconnect everything. We can use the summoning bell. Remove this. That will disconnect everything from the stage panel and I can pull the stage panel away. Put them in inventory and our windows are there. Oh, that's unfortunate with the little bit you see there. I, don't, I really don't like that, but it's not the end of the world. Okay. And this little bit right here, we can cover up with a pillar, just like we did on these sides. So let's get our pillars, as well as two more cracked windows. We need two more cracked windows. Um, sorry, I know I've been concentrating. I'm not looking at the chat quite at the moment. I'll be right back to look at the chat, guys. Don't worry. I'm not ignoring you. I'm still here. Um, wait, where are the pillars? Where's the Hingen pillar? There it is. Okay. Okay, so we can go... Oops. I'm gonna have to place this from storage. Okay, that's fine. Can't get close enough to the wall, so we'll store these. Uh, let's get these windows in place first. Where did they go? There they go. Okay, and there we go. Our beautiful windowed area all around here with the greenery trimmed every all the way around. These actually need to snap backwards as well, I just realized. So let's let's fix that. Uh storeroom. I think that's the right height, right? Yeah, well, you just see the little sliver there? There we go, okay. Ooh, baby, there we go. Okay, there we go. Now the atrium is com almost complete. We need the pillars right here. Okay, sorry, let me catch up really quick with some chat here. Um, yes, yeah, so I don't know what you mean by showcase. Oh, um, Akarin, uh, have you looked at, so in my Discord, if you look near the very top of the server, there are, um, there's unlocks for the housing section and the nightlife section, as well as a place to opt in for notifications if you want notifications for when I go live or when I make announcements for housing events or clubbing events. So at the very top of the server channel list, there's right below registration, there's there's unlocks and everything. So in order to access the full housing section, uh, you need to just do the housing unlock. And that is where showcase work in progress, like all of the housing stuff is existing. The reason I have the unlock there is because I know not everybody cares about housing. But if you do care about housing, there's a couple extra rules that I just want everybody 
rules and guidelines and mindset that I want everybody to be on the same page with. And that's why I have that additional step, um, just because I needed a place where we talk about things like third party tools, terms of service, you know, when you submit builds and stuff for tours, like I need everybody on the same page so that everyone understands like what they're kind of, how we within my server frame some of these topics because some of them are a little bit controversial, especially like the third party tools and stuff. So um, that is why, uh, yeah, that's why I have that section. So anyway, I think, Akarin, that's why you weren't seeing the showcase section for housing. You need to do the housing unlock. Um, and any, anyone else, if you are if you join my server, you won't see the full housing section until you do the housing unlock. So uh, check that out and then you can post away and do join things like the tours and all that other stuff. Did that make sense? If anybody needs clarification on that, please feel free to ask and I'm happy to explain. And um, also Akarin's asking, is this an apartment room? Correct, it is an apartment room. So I only have a hundred slots in here to make all of this happen. Uh, and Scarlet's saying, I love those. Uh, oh, you posted it a fun, silly restaurant. I love those partitions. They can be quite pretty. Seen a lot of cafes with them and they look very pretty. You're talking, I think, about the, the verdant partitions, these ones, right? With the greenery and everything. It's a really nice look. It honestly really is. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to also put a bunch of the um, the new alpine lights in here. So that even at nighttime, this whole thing is kind of illuminated. And I think the alpine lights with their directed light will be really nice and interact with all the greenery here. And I think that'll be really, really pretty. So um, you'll see what I mean in a minute. How many slots am I at right now? 59. OK, so I still have 40 slots left. Beautiful. Because we still need to add a doorway here. We need to add all of the sort of what's going on, the clutter and things here. Uh, so let's do that now. OK. So what did we talk about? We said we wanted. It's an adventure. I think since it's a storefront, I think we needed like a potion area. We wanted a research area. A potions and maybe like almost like food and stuff, right? So you need potions, food, a place to gather research about the local area that we're in right now. And then we also need like adventurer, uh, adventurer board here. So, okay, we can handle a bunch of these things. We need, uh, so when I say adventurer board, I mean like getting missions and stuff. Because the idea is storyline of this build that we're working on is it's a little apartment sized guild um, like tavern almost. It's not it's not a tavern, but it's like a you just showed up. I'm here in Shiragane. So imagine that you show up here. You're a new adventurer and you're like, yo, I need a quick. I, I just moved into the area and I need a quick like place to stop by to get supplies and just really quickly figure out like what I'm doing here. Like, where is my next mission? What am I going to you know, what do I need? Give me some research or some um, some information on the area. And so I think the storyline that I'm going with here is that this is that location that your guild hall, when you link shell them, you're like, yo, where can I go? They're like, oh, yeah, go to this apartment room. Like we have a little hidden base there. Go to that uh, little guild base, satellite guild base, right? So just making sure, uh, Akarin, did you feel, did you find um, the showcase and everything okay? Uh, but, uh, um... Here, I'm going to link you guys in here. Um... Thank you. 
There you go. Okay, I just prompted a little thing in the Discord. And you can take those, uh, click on those channels and it'll take you right there. Poor NPC stuck in the company chest. Wait, is there someone stuck in the chest? Oh, shit. Yeah. I got them. Thank you, Selena. Looking out for the NPCs. Please, uh, NPCs don't hate me. I kind of wonder, maybe that would that be nice, like having a little chest like this. I'm thinking, like it kind of doesn't make any sense. Like the the chest shouldn't be facing the audience so much, because realistically, you'd probably talk to an NPC and they would pull the stuff out of the chest for you, right? Like you wouldn't really be allowed to touch it. Maybe it should be like that, right? Okay. Let's get these guys sort of actually facing their areas. Da -da -da -da. Okay, really quickly now, let's build these things out. So what do we have to work with? Cupboards, maybe? So does this have... Um, that's like food. I think there's better options though. So for the research section, I think the obvious choice would be scholastic bookshelves, right? So something that's like this. And then we have those. Oh, that's right, they're tabletop. Let's turn the counter surface placement off so they can sit on the floor. And they can be like this, right? And we can have like a full lineup here of, of books. Um, I kind of don't want to mess with the fact that we have we made all that nice metal work. So maybe we maybe should they just be sticking out only a little bit like this? Yeah, there we go. Right. Like so this. Um, OK, I think maybe we can do something like that. Can we very subtly stick these out from the wall so that we still can get, I don't know. I, I don't want to lose the metal work stuff that we, we worked on so much, right? So if possible, yeah, there we go, right? Like if we can get it to look like this and then we can have the ones in the middle. Let's try that. Okay, so let's get Um, there's one going to be one there, one there, one there sticking out, and then two in the middle. Three, one over here too, one, so three, four, okay, four, five, six, six of these, six scholastic bookshelves. Um, do we have... Which, uh, tables, what are they called? Shelves, right? Scholastic bookshelves. Can I search? Do I have any of these in my inventory? No. Okay, let's go one, two, three, six. Okay, I think this will be good. Take these. Okay. Right. We're going to have these stick out a little bit to give this wall a bit of extra texture. So I like the, I use this grid floor because then I can actually see if they're the right grid snap off. See how there's just, just one grid snap in front of this line? That's very useful. Okay, oh, perfect. And it hides the little, um, Pretty much hides the little bit there that I didn't like. Okay. Oh gosh. Let's.
pa pa pa. holding my breath a little bit while I try to make these work. Let's see, do I like the little repeating pattern there or is it better to have it be singular? Always singular. Or like that. It's kind of nice. There we go. Probably need an extra one on the edge here. Just to fill this little last bit out. Or, unless, yeah, there we go, perfect. There we go. That looks like a very nice little research area. With a little extra bookshelf sticking out to break up this sort of hyper-structured thing. Is that too far out? Looks a little cramped, maybe? That looks a little more natural. That This is a little too shallow. This little bit sticking out, so it sticks out one, one more as well. There we go. Okay. A little cramped up, but I think... That's looking pretty cool. Okay, so there we go. Perfect uh, coverage of that, which still maintains our little metal work. We can also dye these, I think, all dark colors, so that way we can match up with the walls, whatever we decide. Let's see. Um, that would be... Oh, oh, sorry, I, <laughs> I mixed up the names. Uh, Yes, yes, I'm sorry. Mixed up who was saying what. Oh, hey, Kevin. Welcome back, Kevin. It's been a little while. I think we haven't seen you for a bit. How, how are you? Welcome back to the stream. Okay, what are we doing on this side? We said we're going to make a potion rack. Let's see. Potions... Or maybe the potions stuff could be here, and this could be the uh, guild info and stuff, right? Research, um, guild guild hunt marks and stuff, um, and then maybe a little potions store right here. I don't know that we can build out a full potion thing here, but I think over here we'll work with potions. Okay, so Hakonan, what do you got for me? Um, I think for our guild adventurer, like not a like call to action or like not call to action. That's not the right term. It's um, we need these, right? Cause we're, we're basically getting missions. I think is what the idea that we're running with here or that I'm running with. Oh, there we have the Gosetsu Yugiri sketch, which is a, it's, um, Okay, so I think what we can do to make a cool little adventurer's board is going to do, you're going to do this. Okay, so we're going to take Eorzean maps. And we're going to flip a bunch of these backwards. Okay. And these are going to form the basis of the boards that are going to happen, right? So take this I'm gonna place a bunch of RZ maps because these are pretty big right so this is the nice thing here so we're gonna do this 
and we're gonna put them a little higher up. And then we're gonna flip these around. And they're gonna be like the boards that are standing back here. And then we're gonna put a layer up here too, but we're gonna put these a little higher. So we'll have layers to this. Um, so these will go a little lower. Right? So like if these are here along the wall, Let's see, let's get these, like, there. They can even stick out a little bit, as if they're floating a little bit, mounted a bit higher out. I don't know. Let's try this, maybe. Let's see how this looks. Uh, I need to put something down. Summoning bell. Give me my summoning bell back. Okay, so if I take these... There we go, see? So now we have our the the boards with which we'll then snap um the guild undulices <laughs> to. And those will be like where our notice boards are basically for us getting our missions. This is what the back of them looks like, Selena. It's very clean. So a lot of people actually use these as TVs even. Right? So you can see how if you put this right there, boom, you have a six, uh, you know, 1920 by 1080, like widescreen TV. Easy. Flip a, flip an Eorzean map around and you just frame it out with a couple, like, you know, put a little power button here or something like that. Boom, instant TV. Especially if it's in lower light, because on higher light, you can't dye these so that it's very brown. So it's not really that black pitch black look that people like for the TV that's off. Um, but in really low light situations, it doesn't really matter because it will, um, yeah, it, it, you can't tell. So, so we're gonna, I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna put four of them maybe in a row, three of them, I think. One, two, three, and then we'll have a couple that are hanging here in front. And then once we layer them up with the little paperworks and stuff like that, then I think that's gonna make a really nice looking, convincing, um, set of uh, notice boards. I think actually each of these can go in between maybe uh, the actual panels here, right? They, they can fit right there. Alternatively, we could use even more slots and use chalkboards, the, the new chalkboards that we have, and flip a bunch of chalkboards backwards, which I think could look really cool. And you fit them into each one of these slots. So let's try that. Right, so I think because the Orzy maps are a little big, actually, now that I'm looking at them. Uh, but they have the new chalkboards that we just got. Right? Uh, where did it go? Where are they? Um, where are they? Do, 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 do. Oh no, they're wall mounted. And they're not in other wall mounts decorations and we have there it is small blackboards that's what they're called right so these small blackboards are also dyeable and so we can even make sure that they're a little brighter um and that they fit so here's what i'm thinking right we can go like this right and those match up a little bit maybe nicer to these right so, and they can fit in the windows here. So let's go... Move these to the edge so I can see where I'm placing them. Right, so you can see how, right there. Oh, they have a little nice bit hanging out from the bottom too. So if we go like that, let's raise them up a bit. Okay, so like this, and they can look even like they're, they're, well actually, if you had even one up at the top, it would look like it's hanging down, right? Like these, that little bit of the chalkboard that hangs in the bottom actually makes them look like they're hanging signs, like they're stacked, um, right? So this part right here looks, makes them look like they're connected. So actually you, from if they were hanging from the top here, if you wanted a little immersive touch, you would have one that's 90% hidden and only the little strap is hanging down and then that way it looks like boards that are strapped to boards 
and that's like how it's hanging down from this thing and it's not just kind of stuck there inexplicably um i might do that i think i do have the slots to do that actually so why not let's go a little higher with this so here i think we can even go higher to be honest or yeah yeah let's go a little higher why not let's go on higher otherwise they're too low to the ground perfect we can even see the metal work through there okay so um let me see if i can get this position correctly hopefully they don't hopefully they're not so oh no they're flipped backwards so they won't snap to the wall but i wonder if the adventurer um and Delicious things that we're gonna we're gonna affix to these will snap to the wall. They might, and that might be an issue. Okay, so we're gonna go like that. Oh, there. See, look. Oh, they're even like bracketed, coming, sticking out. That's so. Oh, that's so good. What does it look like on this side? Are they bracketed too? That's so nice. It looks like they're attached to the metalwork like this. Oh, perfect. Yes, this is a winner. Okay. There, see? Ah, notice boards. Ta-da! Okay, so now we can do one set over here and then one set over here. And then hopefully, let's, let's test this out. If we can take our wall decorations and put these on there, right? Paperwork. And even like a Gosetsu Yogiri, Yogiri sketch, right? So you could do... Da, da, da. Flip this back around. Okay. Boom. Oh. So like this... Oh, they're kind of, oh, they're so small though that they, the paperwork is a little bit all over the place. Okay, let's see how this looks though. Okay, so like this. Oh, you know what? That's fine. People can see that there's little paperwork sticking out from those other areas. Whatever. I would offset this maybe so that way. Yeah. Maybe the you maybe these ones don't have the paperwork down here. I don't know. Okay. Is this going to snap to the wall though? If I leave the housing menu, these might snap backwards onto the wall. <gasps> they don't. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um So we need let's see, two more four more chalkboards and then we'll hang a couple from here too. Uh, you know what? I feel like there should be chaos here. I feel like we should use an Eorzean map and put a big Eorzean map there, and that can be what these are attached to. And then there'll be a chalkboard hanging down from the Eorzean map. So let's do like this. It's going to be a little chaotic. I think that's kind of like the vibe, right? At like adventure halls and stuff, is it's always a little bit messy. So let's let's try this, right? Uh, uh, wait. I need it to be this way. So I need it to be on this side. Okay. There we go. Right. So this way, because the EORZ map is so wide, it can help explain maybe why the papers are so far over. Um, so yeah, we'll go like this. Oh. Okay, like that. Beautiful. Maybe the, um, 
Gaurus map is a little bit high up. A little too high. Yeah, it should go down. Same with the um the chalkboard. It can go down farther. One, two. I kinda like it they're if they're a little separated. Yeah, there we go. I kind of like that. And maybe this, that, that just means that I feel like these should just come be lowered a little bit. Um, but I like that it looks a little bit chaotic. Like there's like a little bit of a bunch of stuff going on. Perhaps the, the, uh, the chalkboard, or the, the Eurasian map should go in the middle. And that can be like the main one. And then the other, the, there should be the doubles on either side. That'll look nice and framed out. Like as soon as I've seen the bonus points, let's see, yeah. Yeah, okay, so let's, we can do that. Right, so then we kind of have the idea of our adventurer um, missions, mission board. Yeah, that's what I'll call it, mission board, research laboratory. We can put some piles of books on the ground here. And then we need a potion center right here. So let's do that. Um, arguably, I could actually use the potion racks because technically they are NPC vendor items, right? So these potion racks like this are in fact NPC vendor items, except that they are from, um, what is it? You have to do Crystarium deliveries. So if you're not in Shadowbringers, you wouldn't have access to them. So it's still technically an NPC item only build if I do this, right? Um, I th do think that that looks really nice. But I think in the interest of trying to make this as beginner friendly as possible, let's try not to do that. Um, even though I think this is an obviously perfect fit like that, right? But I, I think we can figure, hopefully we can figure out a way where this can pretty much just use only, so far, everything I've put in here is pretty much only the Hakona and stuff. Oh, I just realized the FC chest shouldn't be in here. The FC chest will eventually go out because that's not an NPC vendor item. So, um, let's get, what else do we have? Stacks of documents. We definitely need those and we need this for the doorknobs. Table chronometers, empty boxes and stacks of tomes can be good. Uh, I want to see what kind of cabinets we have in terms of Okay, uh, where am I going to go? Walls, partitions. Because I need to make something... Partitions, shelves? Showcases? Maybe showcases with elixirs. Right? That could be cool. Potion yak racks are crafting scripts. Yes, indeed they are. So that's not quite as beginner friendly as I'd like them to be. Glade bookshelves, what do they have? Um, does anything look like a potion rack? Cupboard, Oasis cupboards. Those are those are nice because they give you some extra bottles without actually having to put stuff. Glade lanterns. Let's see here. I kind of wonder, okay, let's just try a showcase. Like, what would a showcase look like? Like, that does look really nice, you know? Just having the nice clean shelves and having, um, like this. Or even, let's see. Hmm. 
Yeah, you know, like... That does feel pretty, um... Potion, potion celery. Potion cellar? I require only your strongest potions. You guys know what I'm talking about there? Anybody know that one? Potion cellar. You can't handle my strongest potions. <laughs> um, ba -ba 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 -ba. yeah, like this. And put some elixir bottles and stuff here. Ah, oh, it'd be so nice to just do this, right? Like, um, <laughs> they're easy, right? Like, you know, just like filling out potion, but potion bottles like that, or something. Put al alcohol and stuff there too, and just imagine that there are other kinds of bottles. But elixirs here, right? Elixir, a bunch of elixirs. That would look pretty good, I think. Um, here, let's put this back in my inventory, just so I can clear this out. Uh, what would happen if I hid most of this behind the wall? Oh, there we go. Okay, so right now it's kind of books right there. So like, what if it was just peeking out? Right, and we had it like this. And then that way we can just get the little nice corner shelves. Um, yeah, there we go. And I think we could put a little like wall shelf here, maybe with some extra potion bottles. That's nice. It's nice and simple. S that's that was the theme of earlier today, right? Simple solutions. And uh, as much as I do like the curve there, it's going to mess us up here, I think, having that curve. So we'll just take the curve out. Um, Yeah, like, we put that there. Where's our little shelf here? That's gonna, cause it's kind of weird that the, you can see the, the curve coming in there. So we're going to pull out this shelf, right? If it's gone, wait, that's the wrong shelf. Where is the shelf that's creating the curve? Right there it is, okay. You pull that out. Yeah, I think we gotta do that. We gotta take the, the curvature shelves out. Sometimes you gotta just rework stuff to fit what you're doing, right? There we go. Okay. So our showcases can go here. Uh, let's grab two of them. Give me a showcase. Give me a showcase. What is it? What was it? Uh, shelves. And then we want some like elixir bottles and stuff. Bada boom, bada bing. Amazing. So everybody who's working on on your housing stuffs, how's those coming along? Did you make some good progress today? Kind of like if it's like this, where you can just... Okay, just like that. Oh, actually... What if it was... Should it be, should it be like this? Like, rotated? Um... And then it should, can be... Yeah, maybe that's better, because then... It's kind of weird that the books are there, though. Can I flip something around or get rid of those? Oh, it's fine. Potion books could be in bookshelves. I don't know. Right? Potion books are wacky. Uh, 
Uh, this way? No, that doesn't display as well. I think this it needs to really showcase to the front what the merchandise is. So it should be like this. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Okay. And then let's just nudge these backwards a little bit so that they the, the metal work gets the metal work behind there vanishes. I think we can take this to our inventory really quick while I fix this. So it's out of the way. Move this back one click and does that actually break the metal work up right there? Nobody's going to notice that though. In fact, what happens? There's a cool idea. It's like, what if instead of having these like this, we offset these like that? Oh, that's interesting. That's a little more. Which would connect that up. That's an option to connect the little lines up there. Okay, let's just move these back there for one. There we go. Wait, why are these? Are these not on a grid snap? This must not be on a grid snap. Aha, okay, there we go. And then... Just to show that little... I wanna show that little lip for the door. Just so we can make really see that there's this the doorway happening there. Okay, and we have potion shelves. We can even add some potion racks right there. Um, what if we even flip these around, right? Because like there's the shelves that naturally get built into these. We just hide the books. Then we get potion shelves. Oh, that's actually even better, to be honest, what, than what I had. Right? But if we have the little... Like that. <laughs> Shit. That would have given us uh, perfect shelves. And blocked off the front here. And then we have perfect potion racks. Shelving. Okay, we'll go with that. Wow. And it covers up the little hole right there. Uh, perfect. Well, sometimes... Another happy little accident of today's stream. There we go. So, covers up the little hole right here. Um, and gives us little potion bottle racks here. And now, uh, these actually probably could... I don't know. They're a little weird now that they're kind of jutting out. Ah, heck, whatever. Uh, give me some bottles here. Closer, 13 slots left. Is that right? Are you keeping track? Good. I'm glad someone is. 
So we need some like elixir bottles, right? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Um, spirits collection. What else can we use for potion bottles? Set of liquor bottles. It's basically, that's, that is basically a potion, right? Um, spirits collection. Let's look at both of these. Oh, for you, for, oh, for you, you're 13 slots left. I see, Selena. Okay, so here we go, right? We can go like this. Is this not a tabletop? Okay. There we go, right? Like a bunch of... Yeah, there we go, okay. I think with the glowing red and stuff, that's perfect. So sets of po uh, bottles here, and then we can have um, a couple of elixirs here, right? Like this. If this thing would freaking allow me to place itself. Where did my stage panel go? Where'd the blank one go? Oh, never mind. It's right here. <laughs> I'm silly. There we go. Right. Boop. Uh, wall shelf. For some reason, these don't seem to want to stand on these shelves nicely. So we'll do this. We'll go like this and go right there. One click below. So it's definitely actually sitting on the shelf. We'll move it over here. Right. And then turn counter service placement off. Click this. Move it away. Uh oh. I lost my um my wall shelf. Where'd it go? There it went. Come back. There we go. Okay, so that's what how we're gonna do this, right? We're gonna put the bottles there. And then we're gonna have the elixir bottles here. And that will be our potion area, so. Okay, six items, six... We can scatter these around. We don't have to cover every little thing. How many slots do we have left? 25 slots left. I think we can clutter this place up with 25 slots. Plug in our pillars. We need two pillars, one on either side there. Add some lighting. The doorway... Oh, the doorway. Um, I think we talked about making this an elevator. Ideally, right? Or something. Um... So we can make this... Like we were going to do like the, the elevator door. And I wonder if we can accomplish that with showcases, maybe? We just need something that makes this really clean looking, right? So... Uh-oh, that's not, that's not even centered. Right, so if we go... Okay, like that. It's pretty much the equivalent of having this. Right? Uh, we just need to create that little seam right there in the middle a bit better. Or we could just have double doors. That's easy, too. Just use some double doorways there. Uh, pretty much at income. Finished my Chris... Kevin's saying, I finished my crystal apartment today. Was aiming for a Kugane limbs-inspired tavern slash spa. Ooh, that's cool. I'm curious to see what that is. Would you uh would you mind sharing it in the in the showcase? In the Discord? Didn't quite come out with coloring. Hey, there's no I mean the the beauty of this game and the beauty of doing housing in the game is that if you don't like something, you can just change it. 
It's not like a real architecture where if you <laughs> if you spent someone's big bucks on on doing something and then they're you know you're like oh shit uh, that's not actually the look that we want you know then you're like oh no what the hell what do we do um, but in this game you're fine don't even worry about it uh, okay hold on let's frame this doorway oh sorry I hit the mic hope that didn't mess anyone up Okay, we're not not too bad. Oh, hey, um, I'm guessing that's Pokemon Hunter Reyna, right? I'm guessing PKMN is Pokemon Hunter. Oh, and uh, UGS Error, uh, Uggs Error. Both of you, thank you very much for the follows and welcome to the stream. Glad to have you here. I hope you've been enjoying yourselves. How are you both? I apologize, I, I didn't catch uh, like uh, Uggs Error. Is it UGS error or UGS error? I'm assuming UGS error, right? Um, but welcome both of you to the stream. Thank you very much for the follows. Let's see. Um, I'm trying to see if I can frame out the, do the door a little bit better. Right, so it actually looks like it's a doorway. Maybe I'll just do that. And just have... I don't like that a lot of the... Um, we have a lot of clashing patterns right now, but that might just be something that we have to deal. We just have to live with because of the nature of um, the build itself at the moment. Oh, there, that actually that could work right there. Um, maybe just getting using this, pushing them a little closer to the wall, and then we can use this to frame out our doorway like that, basically. Right? We'll have a big fancy ass gold door that leads into here. Not subtle at all. But you know what? Sometimes you need to be a little extra when working with the Adventurer's Guild. Yeah, what if we had three of these, right? So we had this, and then this, and then we'll have our little, um, the break line right there in the middle. I kind of like that. Okay, let's try this. Three Oasis bookshelves. We're just going to get a bunch of ideas in here, to be honest. I mean, I think... Um, I think I did this. I think I did this, something similar to this when we did the Scholastic uh, Library, the very first NPC-only build. And that's okay. That is A-OK, -okay, in my opinion. Let's bring these back to my inventory so I really see what I have to work with here. Okay, so I was thinking... Just to the point where you can't see this shelf there. Right? Flip this around. And... Dang, I don't like that you can see that little bit sticking out. That's okay, we'll go like this. And right here again, just to the right where you can place it. Boom. This one needs to be finished very slightly over. Cover that seam. There we go, okay. I think that looks, that can be a convincing-ish doorway. And, oh, this is gonna push out yeah, let's just... It's not a very clean break right there. That's okay, though, to be honest. I don't know, what if... Or, oh, or what if we just pull these all in? So that they... It's like this. And we got our little gold... A little doorway right here. That's kind of cool, actually. We could push these closer to the wall as well um, by just using from place from storage. And then that way, this feels a little more natural. I do kind of like that idea.
Um, if anything, can we pull these closer so we get a natural line break point, right? Like that? I think that's better. We'll, we'll nudge these all over. Um, let's see how far we can get these closest to the door. Let's put this in the storeroom. Oh, crap. Uh, hold on, I'm losing my, there we go. Um, take this, flip it. Okay, put it back. Right in the center. Grr. Come on. Flip. Um, it was built partially illegally. Oh, Kevin, I mean, well, so I think I mentioned this earlier about like why have the housing unlock section of the Discord. Um, but it's like, I mean, in at least in my Discord, I, I really ask that people don't police about like using the third party tools and stuff. Um, I know it's a bit of a controversial topic again, but like, if you want to post it, I mean, that's fine. Like when I, I, if you're worried, if you're worried though, don't worry about it. Don't, then don't, then don't post it. But like, um, I don't know, in my opinion, we're not really here to police whether people do or don't use the, the tools and stuff. Um, that's kind of up to every person's own choice, you know? So to each their own in terms of doing, using or not using the tools. Let's see, how am I gonna put, I wanna put this over here. Okay, let's go. But I do also, I, I totally understand though how some people are just, they're just nervous. They prefer not to uh, even chance it, uh, you know, so to say. So I get it, I get it. Let's see how close to the wall we can get this. Is that gonna be cool? Like, maybe there? Let's see. Oh yeah, see how far we can get that in? Crazy. Crazy what you can do when you just place from storage. Let's, um, I really need to, these to go away. Just too unruly. Um. Woof. Look how far. Freaking far in the wall this goes. Absolutely crazy. So like that, right? Because we could do this and we need it right there though. Okay, so if it's in front of this, it needs to be a little bit farther in front of this pole, right? Close to the wall as possible, but like a bit farther in front of the pole. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Let's get it on grid snap. Yeah, like that, right? Okay, that's close. We need to bridge this gap though. So quite a bit farther in front of the pole? Oh, okay, yeah, I guess so. Can you not place the fool's threshold on the slats? Um, You might not be able to place it naturally, but you can place it from storage on the slats. So what I mean by that is, um, there's a lot of like things that you can't just plop down. So Selena, uh, what you mean, right, is... So here's the thing, right? If you have... Yeah, you need to place from storage. So, right, for example, uh, some of these items... I don't know, maybe like a window or something? Right, like, some windows, it'll give you a purple thing here, so you can't just place them down on something. So what you're going to need to do is you pull them out from storage versus your inventory. If you place it from if you place it from storage, 
even though it will show purple as long as you use the sub command menu and then the place right so if i do this and then uh, hit the sub command menu and then i use the um your place button it should allow you to still place it on there let me know if that worked for you okay I think you know that the that trick there I'm talking about, right, Selena? Yo, and Panda Sweet 81. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today, Pandas? Uh-oh. Uh. There we go. I think maybe that's far enough forward. <gasps> is that is that perfect? No, oh, damn it. It was so close. Although that's actually kind of nice. How it blends in like that. I kind of like that. Like it kind of, I kind of like how that would give, wait, okay, let's just try that. Let's see what happens if I plop these back in. What oh, was it, right? It's like there, yeah. So what happens if I have these? Oh, that doesn't look quite as nice. I, I think it needs to be the right angle. But I do like how that lets the bookshelves shine in and then they kind of just like slopes into the doorway. That's kind of cool. Um, I wish it was like these were a little bit farther out then, like that. But the way this is uh, built, I don't think it's going to work like that. That's kind of nice, though. That is pretty cool. Doing uh, Panda Suite, doing great. Just got back from a visit to the park and now I'm having Subway for dinner. Yummy. What kind of Subway sandwich do you get? Man, Subway is uh, pretty clutch sometimes, you know? It's like, just, a, just like a, you just know, you know what you're going to get when you go to Subway for the most part. Like, and I respect that that they're very consistent everywhere you go. Um, yeah, so like, what if this was also? Uh, I, I do kind of really want this to be right angled off a little bit because everything else is so nice and um, squared off, I guess. What is the term maybe? So I'll have to we can fix this. We can fix this. Okay. A little bit of trial and error here, though, is the thing. Is that correct? Is that better? It's a little too freaking far now. Ah. Ay ya. I wish there was a little bit of a cleaner way to do this. Oh crap. I'm trying to go too fast. Roasted chicken. Mmm, delicious. Is that with any particular sort of like uh, sauce or something? Like, I don't know. Um, I don't think, I think my go-tos were stuff like uh, the meatball one, Italian BMT. Is that, am I thinking Togo's or is that Subway? Italian BMT. Um, Boom. I think that's gonna work for us. Yeah, that'll that'll work. That'll do, that'll do. Um Damn, I'm getting hungry. I will have to, yeah, I'm, I, we have prominence tonight, so for anybody who is not aware, um, I have a nightclub, it's called Prominence Nightclub, and I DJ there. And tonight from eight to 10 p.m. PST, I will, we will be open. And I'll be DJing. And so I will need to pop off here shortly so I can go eat prior to that opening. Many people here from the stream will be there, I believe. I hope so. Who's coming out to prominence tonight? Shout yourself out if you are. Um, I know we got plenty of regulars in here. There we go. That's not quite even, but you know what? For the sake of finishing this right now, um, it's not going to be even. <laughs> it doesn't, uh, whatever, you know, no one, no one's going to fuss about that. Boom, boom. 
let's get this FC chest out of the way. I know we don't want that. It's not that's not a vendor NPC item. There we go. We got our doorway, um, which I think we need to just ideally make it a little cleaner looking. Um, maybe with like, and just do the showcase again. That'd be easy. Right, like this. Boom. Uh, gosh, keep hitting that accidentally. Going too fast. Right. Da -da 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 -da. Boom, there we go. Door, easy door. Bigger door, smaller door. But something like that. And then we just have a little doorknob right there. Just uh, mind the gap, mind your step right there. There we go. Uh, I think that's that, that'll be great though. I'll have that little doorway. Let's see here. So let's see. Uh, Rosa, uh, need me some prominence tonight. Get that DJ feel. Hell yeah. Okay, so here we go. Uh, in case someone wants uh, some info. So this is my nightclub. It's called Prominence Nightclub. And oh, Nimbus. Nimbus uh, subscribing again for the third month. Thank you very much, Nimbus. Thank you again for the resub and continue enjoying your glow sticks. Hell yeah, we got Aramor and Kaya and Teague and uh, yeah. I'm going to try to make an attendance at your club. Yes, please do, Scarlet. Yeah, you're hungry now too, talking about Subway and everything. Oh man. Mmm, yeah, BMT. Whew. Italian BMT. Mwah. Delicious. I mean I have to. Yeah, who else is gonna hype everyone up, Selena? It's gotta be you. Our our number one hype cat. Um What is the club? Let's see. So yeah, there you go. Um there's the the address or sorry the um the website for prominence and here let me show you the little flyer i have here okay so here we go this is the flyer for tonight and let me put you the address right below the gameplay there so if you want to just screenshot this this is everything you need to know so this is me noah saitoshi playing dj set wednesday august 3rd tonight 8 to 10 p.m pst which is 11 p.m to 1 a.m est at Prominence Nightclub, and there is the address right below the gameplay footage. So you could just screenshot the screen or something like that, take a picture on your phone. And um, it is in Lavender Beds too, so in case you don't have a character already built on the NA data centers, then you can just make a level one character and run to Lavender Beds. You can literally run as a level two all the way to Lavender Beds and come and join the club tonight, even if you have never made a character on the North American data centers. And if you do have a character on the North America data centers, we have DC travel now, so you can get to prominence with your mains and all your cool glams from wherever you are. So yeah, would love to have you guys come check it out. Everyone get the screenshot they wanted? Put, take, put the information away there. If anybody needs it again, let me know. I can pop it back up. Or you can take a look there at the website for prominence. And would love to see you out there. It's it's very much welcome to anybody. Feel free to bring your friends, FC mates, uh, whomever. And um, it's a great chance for me to showcase some of my favorite electronic uh, electronic music, as well as uh, a great chance for you guys all to meet each other and hang out and just vibe out. It's um it's a really good time. So you do have one. Woohoo! New club. Hell yeah! Yes, please come out. Would love to have you. Um, in case, yeah, so for everybody who's sort of new to the stream, basically I have a sort of, I do a split between housing and the nightlife stuff. So I've built, uh, oh, so I, I own Prominence. I also built Prominence. That's like part of the thing here. So I built Ichi Nightclub and I also built Prominence Nightclub, if you've ever been to either of those. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, a big thing with me doing housing is it's really cool that um, or something that really lights me up is being able to build spaces that then I can invite all of you to come and hang out in. 
So like I can build the spaces, whether it's my nightclubs or my FC house or uh, um, my outdoor theater, like I can build them exactly how I want them um, and build something kind of, you know, what I think will be really special for all, all to hang out in. And then I can invite you all and we can hang out and, um, and have a good time together in those spaces. And I think that's something very beautiful about 14 that I really, really love. So please, please do come and join me tonight at, at Prominence. Let's see here. Let's finish this thing out. Okay, so really quickly, what do we need? We need our pillars. We need our lighting. Verdant, part, verdant counter here. Potion bottles. Extra documents. Some books over here. Finish the doorway. Put doorknobs, ideally, on the doorways. Doorknob, doorknob, doorknob. Four doorknobs. And then I think... That's going to maybe wrap it up for for the housing portion of today. And then it'll be about an hour hour break or so. And then we'll have prominence. And I'm very excited about that. And I hope you are too. Excellent. Sounds like great fun. Hell, heck yeah. It's going to be a great time. Um, and it's, it's always so cool. I love uh, getting to introduce new people. So... If you don't want to spoil it for yourself, like don't look too closely at the website because I do think there's something very special about showing up at Prominence in person with the live music playing and seeing it for the very first time then. Um, I think a lot of my regulars here can attest to that where it's something that is very different in person and there is something, the way I have Prominence designed, which, which you'll see when you're there in person, there's a sort of moment and i think you'll know what i'm talking about as you're walking into prominence that um is very special and it really only lands in person i think so um yeah that'll be that'll be a ton of fun i'm yeah i'm, I'm so stoked for that i'm always excited when i get to perform and uh and do prominent stuff okay here we go let's let's get these pillars in place think can we can we do this okay oh boy oh. okay uh is that right it's basically that right how much are these sticking out over here a little bit more. It's a little bit farther forward. Okay. We might even be able to use different pillars. Uh, I liked the little bit of gold, but I do think maybe it should be like glade pillars or something, you know? Or the wood pillars, the new wooden, um, the log pillars that we just got. Okay, wait, let's preview this really quick. Preview indoor items, pillars, log pillars. Yeah, see this ones? Because these are pretty nice, right? Like if you could do this. Kind of, but it, it's kind of cool that it's hanging a little bit because it is in Shiragane. But I think the rest of this build isn't very hanging per se. I don't know. Um, you know what? I don't know. This play is a mismatch. Whatever. I'm just going to run with the hanging pillars we've already we've come too far we've done this we've come too far let's just finish it out like the way we started it also if anybody has any questions about tonight or the club or anything like that feel free to lob them out in the in the chat there i'm happy to answer best to the best of my ability and if you're hyped about it i'm hyped about it so you know it's a win-win Oh, that's a little too far. Man, this is such an inexact science. Am I on tilt camera 100? I think I am. Yeah, I'm already as high as it can get. Uh, maybe... 
This would be better? This way? Yo, what's up, Clips? Welcome back to the stream. How are you doing? Ready for tonight, werewolf? Heck yeah, now with your new cooling pump, you are absolutely ready to rock and roll. Max settings, right? Max settings on your PC? Ready to see prominence in all of its full glory? Uh-oh. What's going on here? Uh-oh. Uh, there we go. Actually, that, that works really well. Let's run with this. Wait, can I grab it? Please let me grab the pillar. I finally got it in place. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Okay. Beautiful. Let me fix this pillar on this side. Why is it not placing? Come on. Come on now. Huh? Is that gonna work? Let's try that. That'll work. That'll do it. Beautiful. Okay. Where did our... There should be another verdant shell. Verdant, uh, there it is. Plop this one on back in here. We have people kind of trickling in here, ready for prominence. Let's see here. Oh, a little bit farther back. That's right. We need to hide this right here. Oh, um, just behind. There we go. Ah, yes. Okay, so then we have... Um, beautiful, beautiful. Let's see what this looks like on low light. Boom, boom. Yeah, there we go. Nice and moody. Um, we need our little alpine lanterns. We can put a couple more of these out and about. Showcase right here. We need the showcase for the door. Let's give our showcase. Oh, wrong one. Showcase. Okay. Bam. Right. Wait, one, there it is. There's the door, okay. And I think we could just dye a lot of these um, a darker color. If we just dyed them so they're all uniform looking and then we add our lighting in. I wanna move these down. And we need some of our clutter on the floor. Let's see. You'll be on, Leone. Cool, we'll see you tonight, Scarlet, if you're still here. Um, yeah, we'll see you on the stream in like, yeah, like an hour or so. Yeah, at uh, about an hour from now, at 8 p.m. PST. I'll be live at the club. Is there a club theme for tonight? There is not for tonight. Tonight is just a general clubbing night. 
Always good to have you here, Clips. Great to see you saying great to see the stream, Noah. I'm always happy to have you here. Running everything on max. Heck yeah. It worked? Uh, Crummy, I think you're... Crummy Kid, you're talking about putting your uh, the fool's threshold, right? So did you, did you place from storage and it worked? Yo, what's up, Nevea? You lurking? Getting excited for prominence, hopefully? Um, if you'll be able to maybe join us for a bit. Trying to finish another duet before time. Another duet? Before time? Um, du duet is... Du uh, duty? Do you mean duet? Is it duet or duty? I midi at it. Oh, okay. That's right. You, your friends, werewolf, you're friends with um, Kiss, right? Um, you said, because I know you said you were talking with Kiss earlier. So you do barding in the game. Kiss and Corinne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Uh, the owners of, uh, is there Black Rose Studio, right, I think? Is there a studio? Is that correct? Those They're the two co-owners of Black Rose, did I get that right? Black Rose Band and Concert Hall, there you go. Um, yeah, okay, cool, so you guys all do barding and stuff, so I see, so you're, you're working on your, um, MIDI file, MIDI file to, to be able to perform. Cool. Yeah, I've been talking to Kiss about potentially getting some of you guys over to perform at my outdoor theater because I haven't been able to do a concert for the stream community for a while there. But that's the whole purpose that that place was built. Um, and I'd love to be able to, yeah, have people there again. Ah, uh, shoot. Kind of weird that you can see the little gap right here. Uh, I'd like to just, I might do this off stream just because it's going to be a pain in the ass, but I might just float like a cabinet or like a, even a, a stage panel just up here. So that way this, it covers up this seam because that's kind of annoying. I also alternatively could just change the wallpaper so that it doesn't show the Hingen wallpaper right there. And I think let's dye everything really dark, dark brown or really light, but I don't think these, these, Verdant partitions don't die very well, unfortunately. So like if I do light colors, they kind of look a little gross. <laughs> like this is supposed to be pretty white, but it's it's not great looking. Oh, actually, that's not too bad. Okay, never mind. Uh, bone white. Let's just wait. Let's knock everything to bone white and see how that looks. Junk monitor, give me a shitload of bone white. Um, like 30? I don't know. Okay, what happens if everything gets set to bone white? Are these already bone white? Yeah, they're already bone white. Okay, actually, let's do furnishing color. Uh, this might look kind of ugly, I don't know. You never know until you try though. Okay, painting, painting, painting. Man, if only painting was this easy in real life, right? And then let's dye our showcases too. Ooh, that's very bright. Uh, I think we need to use then this U uh, Ool Brown. I don't have any of that, ah, crap. Can we get a different uh, thing that I can easily get? Cork Brown, there we go, Opa Opa Brown, easy. That's close enough. Opo Opo Brown. Or even uh, Kikarin Brown. Ah, oh, that needs extra special stuff. Let's go Opo Opo Brown for now. Opo Opo. Okay. Do, do, do. Okay. Uh. Opa Opa Brown. Where's the other showcase? There we go. Okay. Uh... Oh, I think it, this needs these need to stay really bright or else it looks a little off. Uh, it's too bright, but this... Yeah, I need Ool Brown. 
really need some ool brown to match these up. That's okay. How do these bookshelves look over here? Remodel. Um, let's knock them to... Ooh, they don't look very good in that brighter color. Maybe the op opal brown? Just so they're, they're not as dark. Uh, we could try it. Okay, we'll try it. Scholastic paint. Is that op opal brown already? Paint. There we go. There we go. Things are starting to kind of look a little more uniform around the build. I think it needs lighting. It really needs the lighting. And we can do that with our alpine lights or uh, floor panel float. Oh, that's true. Yeah, take like a floor floor panel and just float it up. Um, that's a good, that's, that's actually, yeah, that's a great idea. Just patch up the little hole right there, right? Great suggestion, Scarlet. I love it. Um, I'll probably use that. And in fact, that's actually probably easily what we could use to patch up these holes as well. Should we have the items? And we have 20 slots left. Let's see what we can do with this. Um, okay, I think I'm going to use, again, the big, two big boards, the little boards below, and then maybe two extra small boards right there. Right? Let's just keep it simple. Okay, so a big board. And give me a little board. And let's rotate this. Is that the right height? Wow. That is actually the right height. Beautiful. Okay. Um, let's offset the little board just a touch off to match the other ones. Okay, so down a bit. And then let's grab all this stuff. Oh, actually, I don't know if we need to even grab it back. Just needed to grab this board back. Okay, you come back. Okay, now this. Grid snap off. We go here and we use the chalkboard's chalk holder as the grip on the side here. And we match that up just like we have on these sides here. Where it's just gripping on just a little bit to the sides on either side, ideally. There we go. So we can nudge this forward slightly. Like that. Okay. In fact, we can nudge it forward and out a little bit like this. Yeah. You want to really make sure that these, um, the papers won't have to snap back or oh, they're already in place but they don't we want to make sure they don't snap back to the wall okay turn counter service placement off let's disconnect these boards and grab our stayed panel back ta-da there we go and we can fix where the paperwork is on these We need the two more boards over there, which means I need to buy one more of the chalkboards from the wall decor section. Okay, okay, so wall decorations, small blackboards. Also, I see we have some new people, uh, I think, watching the stream right now. So hello, everybody. Welcome. I'm Noah. Um, just to give you a little explanation of what we're doing, uh, I think the, the title is a little bit self-explanatory, but in case it's... Wait, what is this? Oh, oops, I accidentally clicked this. Um, in case you're, everyone's wondering what we're doing, uh, I'm just building in an apartment right now using only the NPC vendor items. So basically every... Not basically. Actually, everything in this entire build right now... Uh, can be purchased from the Hakonin slash Stewart NPC vendor. And yeah, it's a bit of a challenge build. So right now we're building a sort of guild 
like a remote base for what would be like maybe a guild or something. And the way, yeah, so we're, we're trying to make it feel like it's a little remote secret base that you kind of pop into to get information and missions and stuff when you're on your remote missions over here in Shiragane. Because presumably your guild hall is maybe back in Limsa or wherever, you know, your free company area is. But you might find yourself out and about in the wilderness or here where you don't really know stuff. So you need a place to go get some information. And we're going to provide that to you here. And it's just a fun build. I mean, there's nothing serious about this. It's just, um, we're just trying to see what we can come up with. Right now I'm installing little signage boards here as if this right hand side of the counter is where you would come to get missions, right? So presumably someone walks in the door here and they come into this sort of like, uh, I guess, yeah, like a, a little secret base. They can have research over, they can get research material here. They can buy potions and stuff here, and then they can get adventurer uh, missions signed up for over here. You know, think classic, classic fantasy game, right? I mean, so that's what we're going for here. And uh, yeah, I'm putting the final touches on this right now. We're getting very close to the item cap, uh, 100 items. So we're at 83 and I'm trying to just finish this out and then have a bite to eat before we go clubbing tonight at my nightclub, Prominence Nightclub. So, uh, okay. I'm also trying very hard to not even use, um, to use crafted items when I'm placing stuff, which makes it a little bit more challenging. Here, wait, let's grab, I think the, um, these can be nudged over a bit. So I could use wood slats, which would make this the placement of stuff a little bit easier, but I'm gonna try not to do that. So that way it feels as legit as possible. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Just trying to get these papers on the boards. Just like that. Boom, boom, boom. I think I can get some more of those adventurous papers, ideally. Going for the vendor only. Yep. Vendor only build right here as best as I can do it. Um, wall decorations. Get some more of these papers. The Adventurers Guild Udulises. I don't know how to pronounce this. Udulises? Udulises? Whatever. It is what it is. Papers. Guild papers. That's all you need to know. Okay, and for these, I think I can hide them a bit in the wall here. There we go, beautiful. Let's offset these a bit so that they're, um, they look a little different. There you go. Bada boom. Okay. Disconnect. Oops, uh, papers, there they are. Okay, we'll do the same thing on the other side here. Up and bam. I think this was farther out, right? Let's flip flop these. Okay, right here. Oh, uh, this, these look like they could go a little higher, a little bit over, and just so. Just so. Good old Xenos coming in the mix there. Oh, uh, wait, no, not just so. Just a touch forward. 
There we go. What's what's attached? <gasps> the windows. Um, oh, that's okay. I can just put them in my inventory for now and we can push them, put them back in place. Okay. Uh, do the windows, other windows get messed up? Nope, thankfully not. Just this bit right there. Oh, that's looking good. Okay, so we need paperwork on the ground, we need books on the ground, and we need potions on the racks and some lighting. Then we're done. Um, let's do this. Okay, so let's put these walls back. Or put this, uh, the verdant things back. Let's oh, shift these back over. Unless, does that make it not connect up over here? Oh, perfect. You can't even tell. Okay, well, these lanterns feel like they could go right here perfectly. There we go. Nice recessed lighting. There we go. Just peeking out just to illuminate that area. I think we can mirror that over on the sides. Um, we need to put our windows back. Let's store these here. Store, store, store. Okay. By the way, um, in case anybody is not aware too, I have the VODs for all of my previous housing streams saved to my YouTube channel. So you can find the links to all my socials right down here in the Twitch panels, but I'll link you right here directly to my YouTube. So in case you're curious to see some of the other stuff we've streamed, I've done several housing tours. Um, I've done a full walkthrough with design commentary of my nightclubs, both of them, Ichi and Prominence. Uh, we've done a bunch of creative, other creative builds, shadow puppets. Um, there was the googly eye stream. So I think, some, I don't know, some of you may have seen the googly eye, uh, googly eye posts circulating on Twitter, housing Twitter for a little while there. That was something I did live on stream to celebrate 500 uh, followers on on Twitch here. And yeah, in case anyone is curious to watch those, and I'm working on adding even more content to the YouTube channel there. So um, enjoy, basically. Let's see. So we have all these Alpine lights. We have how many slots left? Roughly 10. So 13 slots because we need the handles on the doors. Let's go. Surely I have some clutter stuff, right? If I don't, we can get it. Okay, we can buy this. Uh, I thought I even had a bunch of them on retainers. Let's take a look. Don't I have extra clutter stuff? I might have. I might have just sold it all because it's so cheap. I know, my inventory is a mess too, but you know, it is what it is. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, I guess we need to buy new stuff. That's fine. Give me some paperwork. Piles of documents. There we go, stacks of documents. Um, scatter documents? Scatter documents. And then we want some... Oh, we definitely need these for our handles on the doors. One, two, three, four. Table chronometers, stacks of tomes. Encyclopedia Eorzea. I think scattered was a scattered documents again. Okay, I think this is going to be good for clutter. So let's put some of our clutter in place. Oops. It's important to have a bit of clutter or else things don't look very natural. This might be a little bit like, oh god, what is this? So This place is so messy. 
Can we use this side? Oh, this side. There we go. Perfect. Um, scattered documents, right? So maybe some scattered documents on the desk. Okay. And this person maybe has a couple extra books or something here. Yeah, maybe like there, just to offset the um, the pillars there. Piles of tomes. I think that this would make a lot of sense. Again, it's a chaotic guild hall. It needs to feel as such. Piles of tomes. Okay. I need a few, oh, I wish I had more potion bottles. I think I could spare some resources from certain places, but let's see. Person. Maybe should stand a bit more here. I think let's get scattered documents in front of this person as well. Scattered documents. Um, classified documents in front of the other person. Let's get some more elixir bottles and spirit collections. Or alcoholic bottles, set of liquor bottles. That's the one. Okay. Where did that go? Why did I? Where did the alcohol bottles go? Where's the rum gone? Okay. <laughs> I think there's, again, there's probably ways we could save some more slots here and there. We don't actually need... Oh, I think opposite side, that would be good. Okay, I think it's kind of nice to have like menus for stuff. Oh, you know what? There only needs to be one person behind each counter to save on slots. Da -da. There we go. Okay. Oof. Very tight on slots. Uh... Oh, and the lighting is not that great. We need we need more lighting in here. Alpine lamps to the rescue, maybe. Is that how it was on the side? Yeah, right there. <sighs> Butting right up against the limit here. We can take the summoning bell away too, because we don't need that.
Presumably the door swings away from this. That'd be ideal. ideal. Or we can have them on the sides. I think that's better. Uh-oh. Not the same level. I don't think those lamp lanterns are even, but that's pretty much that's pretty much the build. I think uh, again we could free up like one or two slots, maybe. Like we don't need these actually. Now that I'm seeing this thing complete, these shelves I think technically don't need to be there. Yeah, they don't they don't really add that much now that we don't have any space. So I think it's better to, better to have lighting. Right. Better to have more lighting. Like for example, right here we need I think at least one light. Can we do oh we can even do here maybe. Put it up here. That will help illuminate the whole area. Kind of looks like it's illuminating them specifically, but or that that poster specifically, but uh, it, it actually feels like it maybe should go right there. Okay, let's try that. Oh, inventory. This is gonna be a pain to get sitting properly without snapping everything to it, but. Hopefully we can do it. Right, like here. Okay. Oh god, okay. Uh... Stacks of documents. Let's, let's just pull this back to my inventory. Okay, now let me grab the shelf. Okay, 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 I think. Oh, 
counter on... I realize we don't have door... Uh, we don't have knobs behind the doors, but it's okay. Maybe they just get pushed aside. But yeah, there he goes. Um, maybe if we just turn the lighting up across the board. Or down. Oh, I kind of like that. I don't know. Um, it'd be really cool at night, too, or like during the day when the lights turn on. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to have to call the stream here, though, uh, so that I need to go set up for our prominence tonight as well as have a quick bite to eat. But yeah, hey, not bad, right? I don't know. I, I think that's pretty good for only using NPC vendor items. Um, here, I'll do a little pan around here. Right? But like, only... Only NPC vendor items here. Ooh. And I feel like you can come up with something pretty cool. Something pretty immersive. And mind you, everything in this entire build can be bought by from this person. <laughs> this one housing NPC. Which is uh, the Hakonin, but it's all—it's the same thing as the steward. In case anybody also sees the term steward, um, that's actually technically cheaper. This is five thousand gil, and then you can buy the steward for three thousand gil. But yeah, um, everything, including the lamp too. I mean, even the lamp, uh, the flooring. I guess we could switch the flooring out. That would make it even look even nicer, probably. Um, but. Do I even have it anymore? Oh, and that's, I crafted that. Um, yeah. Cool. Thank you, everybody, for coming to the stream. I I hope maybe... I hope that these builds inspire you, or maybe in the future it can help inspire other people who are looking to get into housing and they're not, like, they're a little hesitant as to um, whether they have enough gill or something to be able to make stuff. And I want people to know that, yeah, like, you don't need a lot of gill to make something really interesting. You don't need um, to be a housing expert and use the absolute craziest looking um, layering and everything like that to make something that's very fun and very interesting and very dynamic and unique. Here you go, look at that. Ta-da! This could easily be someone's, uh, you know, first first build or something, if if they wanted it to be. And it would barely cost them anything. They wouldn't have to level crafters, no gatherers, no nothing. So you could probably just use the money that you got from the MSQ alone, right? <laughs> Cool. Thank you everybody for coming to the stream. Again, I will be back uh, in less than an hour now uh, for Prominence Nightclub. Let me flash up that information again one more time so if anybody wants it. Uh, the address for Prominence is below the gameplay there. And here's the ad for tonight. It's over on Crystal Mateus in the Lavender Beds, so you can make an alt right now and be ready to rock and roll um, at 8 p.m. PST for their opening. And yeah, come and meet us. Come and meet a bunch of people from the stream here. Come hang out. Come enjoy some electronic music. It'll be a great time. Uh, I guarantee it. It'll be a great time. And I'll be back next week, Monday and Wednesday as usual, for more housing streams. So, hopefully see you all then. Here's my socials. Here's my Discord. Hope to see you in in some other form very soon.
And I'll see you guys all in like half an hour, right? Yeah, so see you all in half an hour. See you guys at Prominence. Thank you for coming to my housing stream. Thank you, thank you, everybody. See you soon.